welcome to episode two of the Beer Cookbook Show. My name is David Ort. I'm the author of the Canadian Craft Beer Cookbook. Thanks very much for joining me today. Um, really pumped for episode two. Uh, as I said in episode one, questions are going to be key to how we do things here. Uh, and happy to report that we have a great question uh, from a friend of mine, um, Mr. Mark Bylock. Mark asks, is beer aged in whiskey barrels really sad? because that beer could have been whiskey, had it just been distilled. But seriously, what's up with aging beer in whiskey casks? I'm a fan, but I love whiskey, so I'm quite biased. I should say that Mark is the author of a book called The Whiskey Cabinet, great resource for whiskey fans. Mark also co-hosts the Whiskey Topic podcast. Um, and so obviously from that, you can tell that he is really into whiskey. Uh, and, and what his question, I think, is alluding to is that common starting point that beer and whiskey have. Um, they're both based on grain that has been steeped in water um, been mashed. Uh, whiskey gets distilled and usually aged in barrels, uh, whereas beer has hops added to it, aged for a shorter amount of time, usually in steel tanks. Um, so there's some... And, and then we'll can happen is the commonality can be taken through to the aging process. Um, some beers, traditionally all beers, but some beers um, these days are aged in whiskey barrels to pick up some of the whiskey flavors. Uh, what you find happens is that those notes like vanilla, oak spice, raisin, uh, a lot of those kind of sweet associated flavors that aren't actually sweet themselves. Um, get their way into the beer from the whiskey barrel. I enjoy I enjoy drinking whiskey aged beers because I find you pick up a lot of that um, the great things about whiskey without the harshness. Um, and so if you know you've tried whiskey and you haven't quite developed that acquired taste that whiskey aficionados talk about, uh, whiskey aged beer might be a good place to kind of gateway you into enjoying whiskey. Um, so great question, Mark. Thanks for that. Uh, maybe next time a question that is not about your favorite subject. Uh, but as I say, I always appreciate the questions. Um, the specific beer I have here today, oh, Innocent Guns Toasted Oak IPA. Um, it's not actually aged in whiskey barrels. Uh, Innocent Gun, they're not the only brewery by a long stretch doing this barrel aging thing. Um, they were kind of the first ones to do it on a huge scale. Uh, such a huge scale that they had to develop a new process for aging beer. Um, they It's called the Okerator. It's a special device in a very, very, very large scale that exposes beer to wood chunks. Um, and that means that they can, you know, uh, condition a huge amount of beer that doesn't need without having a huge amount of barrels I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, this one in particular is really cool because um, IPA, part of that IPA mythology, partly true, partly fiction, is that IPAs with this beer style um, specifically designed to be the only beer going to India, they're the best beer going to India, whatever, um, but part of that is that in those days when there was some beer going to India, it all was going in wooden tanks or wooden barrels, casks. Uh, and so this beer kind of harkens back or ties back to that flavor profile. Um, IPA fully hopped, it's got nice bitterness, but the toasted oak in the background kind of evens it out, connects it nicely with the malt. Um, definitely worth trying, especially if, uh, if you're a fan of the Innocent Gun stuff. Uh, you'll note that this is kind of a contrasting difference. It's got less of those sweet flavors that I talked about. Um, not hugely new territory for them. It's not totally different than that other stuff, but it is a uh, really cool beer to try out. Uh, so thanks for the question again, Mark. Um, everybody else, if you've got questions, leave them in the comment section. Connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, Love getting questions, love doing these episodes based on your questions. Uh, please check out my book. It's in local bookstores and on Amazon. And 
definitely do not forget, subscribe to the channel because I'll be back with more great beer cookbook show content. Thanks very much.